Hello there guys and welcome to a Thomas Wooden Railway custom review video. This I am looking at is my custom Wooden Railway cardboard made roundhouse. I made this because I knew that there were a number of different uh, roundhouses that had been released over the years but they were not all accurate to the TV series where there's supposed to be spaces for seven engines and the roundhouses that we get uh, in wooden railway form only ever has uh, five spaces. And I just did not think that, that was right. I, I figured that there needed to be a version of a, the roundhouse where we could be able to put in all of the engines rather than just five of them because it you know realistically speaking there really uh, should be space for even more than just five engines because uh, I've seen uh, train sets uh, based around real live railroads that have like spaces for lots of different engines and as far as I know there was uh, space for like I think uh, multiple different engines in the uh, railway series where there was even a turntable inside of the shed yeah, I've heard that there are some real life railways that do have the turntables inside the shed and that would be able to hold up a lot more than seven engines than what you were getting here. But I wanted to make something that was very close to the TV series and this is what I ended up uh, getting. Took me a few months to get it all uh, set up and now I'm going to explain about the different process that it took me to getting this roundhouse uh, set up. Well, for starters, I use the round the uh, roundabout turntable right here, and I'm gonna take this uh, roof off right here. It's a removable roof, by the way. I made it so I can get the interior of the shed, and here it is. It's a little dark in there. There's because there's not a lot of light and of course my shadow is you know kind of blocking off the light in the room but what I did was uh, took some cardboard drew an outline of the uh, of just how much space I was going to need for the uh, the engines or the track just took the track that you see right there and just um, spread it around and then just drew around that and then when I got uh, done with that I just went ahead and started cutting up the cardboard that I was going to need to create the walls and I used duct tape to get the walls to uh, to stick together you may be able to see a bit of crumples in between sections where the walls should be and uh, right here you can see that there's actually a little uh, seam because this was actually two different pieces of cardboard because there was not a single piece long enough to get well after the back there was not any pieces long enough for me to get the front so I ended up gluing or taping two pieces of uh, cardboard together to get the front of the wall and then I also wanted to add in some windows and I actually just uh, finished uh, making the detail I got the lower bit of the window uh, down right there. I didn't bother to get that on the inside, however, and I, because I just could not be bothered to. Just did it on the outside. 
and you know I cut out the sections where I wanted the windows to go and then after that I got some spray paint and spray painted the the roundhouse took me a couple of sprays inside and out because the cardboard that I used here it was originally uh, the box uh, for my Thomas and Friends Superstation, which I'm sure a lot of people know about, and in fact, it's actually still in the stores in my area, so, yeah, I, I think it's uh, going along uh, for a good long while, so if you haven't gotten the Superstation uh, yet, I would suggest that you get it now if you want to get it, because I'm because it's still available right now. I just don't know how long it's going to last, though. But anyway, I spray-painted the outside of the house this large brown... Well, not large brown, but this bright brown color. And the roof here is removable, as I said before. And I spray-painted it in a silver color. Right there. So, after I waited for the roof and the, uh, the roundhouse itself to get, uh, you know, dry, I waited a couple of days, and then I took some, uh, duct tape and taped around the the, uh, the windows because I wanted to make it so they would, you know, be able to make the actual windows be see-through because with the actual roundhouses that we have, it's, it's just painted on. They're not real windows. And I was even able to do it in the back. Normally, um, with uh, roundhouses, the, they would very often be open in the back, and I think that's just so you would be able to get inside of the roundhouse. But in this case, I just made the roof removable, so you can actually get the engines from inside. And then, I took some green tape and taped the doors. And also took a black Sharpies to uh, put the details on, and then I took a black Sharpies to get the details on the windows, and then I took a brown Sharpies marker and did the top and bottom of the windows. And that right there is the custom roundhouse that I have made here to look a lot more appropriate to what you see in the TV series. Because I personally think that they really should have done something like this. I kind of feel like it probably would have been a very expensive uh, roundhouse to make to hold all those engines together. And considering how the Thomas Wood line is, uh, is progressing with trying to do much as cheap as they can it's not likely we're going to see anything like that in the Thomas Wood line with having the uh, the roundhouse or having a big roundhouse like this but regardless I was uh, I'm pretty happy with this result being able to get all of these engines into the shed oh. and there is another uh, couple of notes that you probably would not be able to notice, but I'm pretty sure you've noticed one thing. You'll notice how the uh, these backs of the track right here are actually cut off at the end, and that was to have there be more room. I did not want to have uh, the ends of the track just be sticking out like that. So I just added some coverage to uh, the end of the track right there. I didn't, I put a full one 
on this one right here because it was the last one that I had. And I didn't think there was any point in cutting that off. And also, the track is actually glued into the shed. I glued it in, I glued the track in as soon as the paint had dried. And, uh, while I did not glue the turntable in, however, the turntable is removable, but you can't really, uh, have the shed work without the, uh, the turntable itself. But I decided to leave it, uh, not glued in anyway, just in case I want to use it for some other things. Now, a little issue that I have in regards to this shed right here is that there are a few paint chips that are going around on this shed right here. A little couple paint chips, you know, that just come off, you know, inside and out of the shed, but, you know, that's, that's kind of the thing when you are working with spray paints, especially if you're working with you know, something that is made of cardboard or made using duct tape. So that is my review or my look over on the, uh, my custom cardboard roundhouse. So I hope that you found this video to be enjoyable and why don't you see what you can come up with in trying to make something, uh, that looks accurate to the TV series. You know, try, try some things out. Try to see what you can make using cardboard, or even if you have your own wood and you can create your own uh, wood sheds, you could try that out too. It's interesting to know what people l would like to try out. And I may do a couple more of these interesting projects in the future, like maybe do a custom uh, Vickerstown uh, station. That sounds like something that I could do. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.